Good afternoon. I'm very honored to be here today and to share a little bit of my story of why I'm 100% pro-life from the moment of conception without exception. My name is Rose and I'm married and I have and I'm a mother. I have a pretty great life. I have a great church and a lot of family support. My kids are so spoiled, rotten, with love, they don't know what to do with it. Um, I feel so very blessed and humbled because I know I don't deserve everything God has given me. I'm of the firm belief that though even what may seem like the darkest night, there is always light. The, the women you think of that get pregnant due to rape, the ones who think it must devastate them and they can never love their child, I am one of those women. When I was 14, I was raped and abused by my aunt's boyfriend. This lasted a year and resulted in the conception of my son. I was not at all a Christian at the time. I figured there was probably a God, but I certainly did not know him. On December 25th, 2010, I found out I was pregnant with my son. From the moment I knew about my baby, I loved him. I still sobbed upon finding out because I knew it would be an almost impossible journey. After I told my family, abortion was greatly pushed. I was immature, reckless, and in a dangerous situation. My mom made ends meet, but we had no way to bring in another mouth to feed. And yet, anyone who suggested anything but life for my son, I told them I could do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Amen. Amen. At the time, I didn't even know what that scripture really meant. Um, but I knew it was true. After this man was arrested on previous charges, I finally felt safe enough to tell my mother who the real father was, and we pressed charges. I remember the day, the first day I truly felt like I heard God speak to me. He said, you and your child will be taken care of, and everything will be okay. And it was. Just five months ago, on August 19th, I went to Lexington Medical Center in labor, ecstatic to meet my baby girl. As I excitedly waited to see the sonogram, um, to see how my daughter was doing, I was told that she had no heartbeat. My world was shattered, and my heart broke into pieces. Life is so very precious and fleeting. Life needs to be protected at all costs. I have one dead child who I constantly get condolences for. They are saddened for me. They, they, they're so devastated for me. I have another child who were I to have aborted, killed, they would look at me with sympathy in their eyes and say, I understand your decision. Were they not both wives? Were they not both my children? I find it a tragic irony that for one child to be desperately wanted and lost, and for another child, people believe should have been lost. Unfair situations do not negate the fact that every human being deserves a right to life. Today, because I chose life for my son, I have the biggest blessing in my life. I would truly go through everything again to have my son in my life. Um, Daniel, you want to come up here? This is my son, Daniel. He's a big champion. You want to say anything? Um, no? I don't know. Okay, that's fine. Go ahead. Oh, it's okay. Do you want to say anything? No. Okay, go with Dad. My sweet child, innocence. It is us to protect these innocent lives. 
Will it come at a price? Yes, there will be those who greatly oppose. But to give children like my son a chance, I would argue that the cost is far too high not to protect these lives. Yes. There's a strong culture in our country, in our state, of doubt and debt. Whether it be jobs, education, babies, if it gets difficult, we just lay down and play dead. When it gets too hard to give up the fight, I challenge everyone in this room to fight. Fight for yourselves, for your family, fight for those who may never have a chance. Fight and choose life for these without a voice. Close to 6,000 abortions are performed every year. Whether you agree with my stance or not, aren't you glad to be here today? Amen. Aren't you glad to have, to have that chance to have a voice and to have an opinion? I plead and hope that my words have resonated with you. Today is quite literally, literally a matter of life or death. Choose hope, South Carolina. Choose life.